Could everybody walk through today's video? Today's video, I'm going to show you how to remove a Jeep JK axle. This is Dana 44, of course. What the situation is, is that I had a gear, not a gear, but a tooth break off my pinion. And now I got to rebuild the whole differential. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to remove the axle. So now to remove the whole brake caliper assembly, there's one bolt right there, and then there's one down farther, as you can see it right there. Now of course, you can remove the sway bar link and get a socket in there, but um, if you live in an area where rust is an issue, I'm just going to use a wrench and a mallet to bust it free, and then I got a little ratchet wrench right there. So the easiest way to do this is to remove the brake caliper assembly, which is two bolts, which are 18 mil top and bottom. Remove them, use a pry bar, and then pry it away, and gently tie it up so you're not stressing out the brake lines. So I got your ABS sensor bolt there, you got a nut right there, nut right there, come to the opposite side, got a nut there, nut there, that's all you got to do to remove it. So let's start with the ABS sensor. Once I got that screw out, you really just want to get it loose. So I'm just sticking a wrench in there and I just, I just pried it. I don't want to take it out. If you leave it loose like this, you'll be good. Just like that. You drop it in there. I did put some rust lubricant on these to loosen them up and I like to do these all by hand for the simple fact that these studs are just pressed in and if you strip them out you're going to be hating life. Now because of the sway bar link, I like to bust that one free with a ratchet and then take it off because if you never had that sway bar off before and you live in a climate where it's rusty, you may end up with more work than what you want to do. So the other three you can get off with a ratchet pretty easy. Just this one here takes a little bit more time. So with the last last bolt out, you can see everything's nice and loose. And then before you get ready to want to pull it, you want to make sure your ABS sensor, like I said, is loose and tucked up out of the way. Now this axle isn't going to come out too nice, so you need the slide hammer. I gotta line this up because some of these threads are damaged. I'm gonna have to replace all the studs for a safe thing. 
Once I got some threads on there, hold it. Pull this out, and then axle will just slide out, and you're good to go. This is a slide hammer that I've used for many years, and it's saved my butt many times over. So there you have it. The axle is out. Took about 10 minutes, maybe. Once you got it down to the stage I started in, Otherwise, probably take you yeah, 20, 25, including removing the tire. It's always a good idea to drain your differential first. Otherwise, you're going to have a lot of fluid come out of the axle tube. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. I'll see you in the next one.